Alright guys, well the first thing we're going to do to our handy rifle project is mount this, this, little, uh, this little rail. Uh, that will allow us to put an optic on it. Uh, I'll get into the optic a little later. What we're going to do is uh, just clean this up. A lot of times these come with a little bit of mungus from the factory on them that you got to clean it off if they had it wrapped in any kind of plastic or anything like that. So we'll get that cleaned up and then we'll go step by step on how we bed this onto the rifle. So the first thing we're going to do is use some Goo Gone. This is great for adhesives. Uh, anything that might be on there that might cause for a poor bedding job. Uh, we'll just focus on the underneath. Get it nice and wet and we'll just let it sit for a couple minutes. What I'm going to do after that, I'm going to clean it with alcohol to make sure all the Goo Gone's off it. And then I'm going to uh, sand it down with a little 400 grit to give it a little tooth. Scratch that bluing off and uh, we'll be going to town. Alright, so now we got a little alcohol. Uh, you could use acetone, uh, whatever kind of floats your boat. We're just trying to get any chemicals off of this base before we get to the point where we're going to start the bedding process. I kind of like alcohol. It dries very quickly, leaves no residue. Uh, not as aggressive as some chemicals. Okay, so that's pretty good. So we'll go ahead and clean it up with a little sandpaper. <laughs> Just give it a little bit of tooth in this area right here where we're going to actually uh, be placing our bedding compound. Okay, so we have some 400 grit sandpaper. Uh, we're not really looking to change the world here. I just want to make sure that area is nice and clean. Give it just a little bit of tooth for the bedding compound to adhere to. That's probably fine right there. So now on to uh, prepping the rest. So now that we have the scope base sitting on top of the receiver, you can see the area that we want to fill right here. That's a pretty significant gap, and even though this is a low recoil firearm, uh, if you were shooting full house 357s, there's a, there's a potential that this might move around a little bit, so we're going to bed that area right there. Alright, at this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this first hole with a little bit of putty, just to make sure any any of the bedding compound doesn't get in there and and get stuck in your hole. I'm not in a, not wanting to re-tap and die this receiver. So we'll get that done and we'll also go ahead and put some wax. Uh, really any kind of wax. Car wax, what you have in your garage will work for that. Shoe polish. Uh, basically all we're trying to do is create a releasing agent so the the bedding compound sticks to the the base and not to the rifle. Uh, we want to be able to take it off and clean it up a little bit. So, like you can see, just regular wax, nothing crazy, nothing special. Uh, go well past the point of where you think your your bedding compound will go because it'll find a way to get somewhere that you didn't protect. So we'll get that smeared around fairly well. Uh, you don't want it really thick. <laughs> you just want enough that it's going to protect your receiver. Alright, so at this point we're going to get our epoxy together. This is a basic two-part epoxy kit that you can get at any auto parts store. Uh, you have a hardener and the epoxy itself. Uh, JB Weld would work here, uh, bedding compound would work. I just happen to have this lying around, so uh, it was a, a perfect opportunity to try and use it. So this one, you just pop it, and you get the materials to mix, 
Then you just work them around a little bit and it's ready to rumble. So I've got my epoxy mixed. I'll just put a little bit of it out. That's going to be way more than I need. I got a little working stick. We'll go ahead and start putting that on the base. Uh, you want to be relatively quick when you're working with this stuff. We do want it to tack up just a little bit though because we're trying to fill a pretty significant uh, gap between the barrel and the base. Okay, so we have our our scope base. Well, we've epoxied it and we've let it sit and cure for a few minutes. So it's just a little bit tacky. Uh, that way it'll, it'll help try and fill up that gap. So we're going to try and place it on the receiver. Press it down. Go ahead, try and fill up, clean up that excess a little bit. Alright, at this point we have the base on with two screws. We left out the forward one. We have our epoxy in place. We've cleaned it up a little bit on the outside. Uh, this epoxy did start curing a little bit faster than I anticipated, so we'll probably end up having to take this off when it's done, sanding it down a little bit, cleaning it up, and just doing a final skim. And uh, that'll give us a perfect mount. All right, folks. Well, we got our scope base uh, bedded. I, I smoothed it out a little bit and just shaped it so it would look a little bit cleaner on the mount. I went ahead and also put a, a coat of flat black on it. I didn't like that shiny kind of black it had. So that's pretty much done. Bedded to a contoured barrel. Uh, let's go ahead and put her on. Okay, well we have our uh, our scope base, our three mounting screws, the right bit for it, and we also have our Wheeler uh, little torque driver. Uh, we've already cleaned the receiver up of all the wax and the releasing agent that we were using. I just did that with a little bit of WD-40. So I'm just going to put a little bit of Loctite on each one of these. And just have them ready to go in. I have my torque wrench set for 30 or 25 inch pounds. Uh, that's the normal, the normal torque setting you'll see for a scope base. Get everything started here. So we know that one's to, to 25 inch pounds. All right. Now we have a properly torqued scope base. And here you can see from our bedding job uh, there is no daylight coming from underneath that base so we have successfully uh, bedded in this scope mount onto our contoured barrel thanks for watching guys